Hey guys, I wanted to make this quick video to explain the Changing the World project just so we can be 100% clear. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. So for our first six weeks, our big project was a leaf collection. You guys did great. Thanks so much. Second six weeks, our big project is a little bit more vague. And so I wanna make sure I explain it very, very well. It's the Change the World project. The reason you guys signed up for this class is because you know the importance of environmental science and how the environment affects our daily lives and how humans are changing the world. So I want you to spend the next month, I want you to spend the month of October finding out a way that you can change the world. Now, this can be by fixing something that you see this wrong. It can be by educating your community. It can be by changing your personal lifestyle in a way that you know if everyone does it, it would help the world. It can be lots of different things. I'm on purpose leaving it wide open because I want you to research what we can do to change the world, how we can make our planet more habitable, more sustainable for humans, for thousands of years to come. Now I've had, I don't like giving too many examples because I don't like stealing people's thunder, but I've had people do lots of different things. I've had students change their diet by cutting out certain things that they know are harmful to the, to the environment for the entire month. I've had people change how they uh, use transportation for the entire month. I've had people that set up entire systems of, um, of, of environmental uh, conscious, actions in the community, in their local community, in the school, lots of different things. I know this year's different, and so you don't necessarily have access to the school like you once did, and certain aspects of your community, so you have to be a little bit more creative. So you're going to research your topic, individually write a three to five page paper talking about how, why you picked what you picked, what you're going to do, things like that. Make it a, a, a quick little snapshot of the purpose behind it. When I read your paper, I should see why what you're doing is changing the world. And then after that, you're going to have to have some way to present what you're doing. Now, the big thing is the reason you have two options is because the more you create, the more you make, the less I'm going to have to hear you talk. So if you're building something that I'm going to be able to physically see, then I'm going to have that time. I had someone, somebody in the past that actually built a composting machine in their backyard and they took all kinds of pictures of it. I had evidence of it. They didn't really have to say much because they had done the work and I could see see the month of work. Others would do something like changing their diet and I would need you to explain it. So the less you make, the less you have to show me, the more I need to hear you talk about it. And so the second option is to, to do something. If you're doing something, then how are you going to show me and convince me that you spent the month doing it? So I need to, to get more from you. I need to, to, like a TED talk from you, or I need a video showing your progress throughout the month. Now we have to go ahead and get started on this because October 1st is next week. So I need to know what you're doing for the month of October by October 1st, which is next Thursday, one week from today. So you have one week to figure out what you want to do. I need to know what you're doing. Either email me, talk about it. You can Zoom when we're having Zoom class, or if you're in class, you can actually talk about what we're doing in class. Projects and papers are going to be doing on October 30th. I know that's the last day of your month-long project, but uh, November the 2nd, which is the next Monday, is the last day of six weeks, and I want to make sure I got ahead of that a little bit. If you have any questions, let me know. The grading of your project is going to be based on did you devote a month to changing the world? Uh, if you can convince me that you spent the month rocking and rolling on it, if you impress me by what you chose to do, then uh, you'll be you'll do great. Um, if you did it the night before, it'll probably be pretty clear that you did it the night before. So let me know if you have any questions. Um, do your best. Impress me. I want to see something really cool coming up uh, in the beginning of November from these projects. Have a great day, guys. Don't ever hesitate to let me know if you have any questions about anything. Bye-bye.